So this you can simplify to by dividing both sides by three. Then you end up having tan three theta equal to three. Okay? Tan three theta equal to equal to three. Now when you are dividing, make sure you don't divide this three by that three there. Okay? This three divides that three. The angle part must not be charged. Yeah, I'm saying this divide up three. I'm kind of Alright. So from here now. The coefficient does not divide the angle. Okay, it doesn't divide the coefficient of the angle. Right? Then from here we bring in the general solution. So this becomes 3 theta equal to 5 times of 3 plus k times 180 degrees where k is an integer. Okay. okay, so this becomes shift ton of three. So that will be seven to one comma five seven. So this will be three theta of seven to one comma. Five seven. So the three theta equal to seven one comma five seven degrees plus k times angle eight, where k is a integer. Right? Then we need to make theta the subject. So we have to divide each angle, that is the 71,057 by 3, the k can be 1 theta by 3. So we end up with 3 theta over 3 is equal to 71,057 over 3 plus k times 108 degrees over 3, where k is, is an integer. So this will give you theta equal to so that will be divided by three the twenty-three comma eight nine. So that will be twenty-three comma eight nine degrees plus plus k times sixty degrees where k is a meeting. And this will be the answer. Okay? This will be the answer. You can't get on further from there. So that's the general solution. So you can use this formula, this, this formula to determine all of the possible solutions of this trig equation. Alright? Okay? Any question? Okay, then let's do question four. Now, this exercise now, we have to determine the exact values of, of theta. So to do that, we have to find the general solution first. Then use the general solution to determine all the value of theta. So, we start by saying it's cos 2 theta plus 26 degrees is equal to 0 0.45. Now, our values for theta must be between minus 90 and 90 degrees. Alright? So this becomes 
two theta plus 26 degrees you got plus or minus shift cos of uh, 0 0.45 plus k times 360 where k is, is an integer. Alright? Then, first we have to determine that angle there. So it will be shift cos of 0 0.45. Right. And that's 63,26 degrees. So this will be 63,26 degrees. That will be 2 theta plus 26. Then you must put plus or minus there. Plus k times 360, where k is an integer. So we are going to find the, the general solution first. So the next thing is to take this 26 to the right. So if I take the 26, I'll get 2 theta in part. Now, it would be better for me to split, to split this plus or minus into 2. So I'll start with the one which is positive. So I can write 2 theta equals 63,26 minus 26 degrees plus k times 360, where k is an integer. Right? This becomes 2 theta in power 2. We do a subtraction. 63,26 minus 26. That's 37,26. So 37,26 degrees plus k times 360, where k is, is an integer, right? So I'm going to get the first general solution, the one with the positive reference angle. Okay, remember, this 63,26, that's the reference angle, but we've got the plus or minus, it will seem like we've got two of them. One will be in the first part, and the second will be in the fourth part, right? So I chose the positive, and I got this. Now I need to divide both sides by 2. So if I divide by 2, I will get 2 theta over 2 theta over 2, 37,6, 37, 37, 26 degrees over 2 plus k times 360 degrees all over 2. Okay? So we will get theta equal to 2. 37 over 26 divided by 2. So that's 18,63. Plus k times 108 degrees, where k is an integer. Okay? Now here we have a restriction. We need to find the values of theta between minus 90 degrees and 90 degrees. So we're going to start substituting k, okay? But so far I found the first general solution. Now I need to determine the second one, then I'll use both general solutions to find the, the correct values of theta between minus 90 and 90 degrees. So I'm going to choose the one with the negative now. Negative 63,26, so I'll do that on it. So this is the first general solution. But I'm going to use this to determine all the possible values of theta. Okay? In fact, let me start using it first, then I'll, I'll use the second general solution later. If I start using this one here, let me write on the next page. So it's, it's theta equal to 18,63 degrees plus k times 1,8 degrees. Right now, this is what you do now. You start substituting k equal to zero first. So, when k is equal to zero, theta will be equal to 18,63 degrees. So, if I put k equal to zero here, 
K times 1, A2 will give me 0. Right? So I'll be left with 18,63 degrees. Now, 18,63 is between minus 90 and 90 degrees. So it's a solution to that trick equation. Alright? Let me try, if I try k equal to 1, I'll get a value which is more than 90. If I try k equal to minus 1, I'll get a value which is less than minus 90. So it doesn't make any sense to substitute k equal to 1, k equal to minus 1. Because they'll give me values that are outside this interval here. Okay? We only want answers between minus 90 and 90 degrees. So the only value of k gives me a solution is k equal to 0. So I have the one solution. Alright? Then let me find the second general solution. The second general solution, I'll take the negative here. Yeah. So I have to write down everything, but I'll put a minus there. So it will be 2 theta plus 26 degrees is equal to minus. 63,26 right plus k times 360 degrees where k is is an integer right then I'll say 2 theta equal to minus 63,26 minus 26 degrees plus k times 360, where k is an integer. So this will give me 2 theta equal to minus 89,26 degrees plus k times 360, where k is an integer. Okay, let me divide both sides by 2. Right, so this becomes theta equal to, now divide that by, by 2, so it will be 89,26 divided by 2, so you will get minus 44,63, so this will be minus 44,63 degrees plus k times 180, where k is an element of integers. Alright, now when you get here now, you are going to do the same thing as I did here. Substitute k equal to 0, if I put k equal to 0, let me use this. So, when, when k is 0, theta is going to be minus 44,63 degrees. Because this part here becomes 0. If k is 0, that k times 180 degrees becomes 0. If I put k equal to 1, if I put k equal to 1 in, I'll get a value which is more than 90 degrees. If I Put a value which is k equal to negative 1, I'll get a value which is less than minus 90. So what that means is, for this question here, I have two answers. And my two answers are theta equal to 18,63 and theta equal to minus 44,63. So I have two answers. Right? These are my two answers. They fall within that interval from minus 90 to uh, 90 degrees. Okay. There's no need for me to substitute all the other values of k, but they give me values that are outside the given interval. All right? Any question? Yeah. Yeah, it depends with the equation you are given. And the restriction that you are given. Sorry? No, it depends on the restriction. If the restriction here was saying minus 360 to 360, you would get more answers. But because it's so narrow, the restriction is so narrow, minus 90 to 90, 
is not a very wide interval. Therefore, for this question, I'll only get two answers. So I'm saying if the interval was too wide, then I will get more answers for theta. But I can't get more answers because I've only restricted for values of theta. You see this? What this means, it means minus 90 degrees is less than theta. Theta is less than 90 degrees. That's what it means. It means my values of theta that I must get for this question here. They must be between minus 90 and 90 degrees. It doesn't mean I can't get other others beyond 90 or beyond minus 90. I can. But the question is just restricting me to that interval of minus 90 to 90. You see the next question. Look at the restriction now. It's now minus 180 to 180 degrees. It's a wider uh, interval, which means you're most likely getting more answers there. But it's for time now. So you might get two answers, might get three, might get four. It depends with the question. You can even get more than five if the restriction is too wide. Yes. So, so you, you know that at the end of the equation, you put down the general solution. Yes. You said when, when uh, k is equal to zero, yes. So if we had a wider scope of restriction, yes. would you you wrote when k is equal to zero, uh, theta is equal to eighteen or whatever. Then you write when k is equal to yes. one, theta is equal to then you write that amount yes. and you keep going you until the restriction. And until you can get all the possible values. Right. Sometimes you can get values that when you put k equal to so on, but that they are not in the interval. So you would understand to do an output. Like for me here. There was no need for me to put k equal to 1 here or k equal to 2 because I will get values that are outside this interval. Okay. So first thing, you must get your general solution first, then you can use it. But sometimes the person will just say, determine the general solution. So you just have to find the general solution, no need to substitute k. But if the person gives you a specific instruction to find the exact values of k, that's when you start substituting. Alright, let's do the next one before I move on to another type of example. Alright, so we have got 6 times 2 theta minus 10 degrees. Okay, 6 times 2 theta minus 10. So this is 6 times 2 theta minus 10. 10 degrees is equal to minus 0 0,6 right? like that so this question here first thing divide both sides by 6 so you get 6 times 2 theta minus 10 degrees all over 6 that's equal to 0 0,6 Minus 0.6 over 6, so you get tan 2 theta minus 10 degrees equal to. Now, if you divide that by 6, well, I'm just going to write it this way. Say this is minus 0.6 over 6, then I'm going to determine to take the tan to the right. So if I do that, I'll get 2 theta minus 10 degrees. Remember, this is tan. So I only get one general solution. So this will be shift time of minus 0, 0,6 over 6 plus k times 180 degrees, where k is an integer. All right? Then, so this becomes shift time minus. 0, 0,6 6 so we get minus 5,71 so that would be 2 theta minus 10 degrees because minus 5,71 degrees plus k times 180 degrees where k is an integer alright then 
Let's simplify this now. We get 2 theta equal to 2. If I take the minus 10 the other side, right, I will get minus 5,71 plus 10, which gives me 4, comma, negative, okay, positive, right? So I'll get positive 4, comma, 2, 9 degrees plus k times 180, when k is an integer. Then we divide both sides by 2 theta. This means is that my general solution is going to be theta equal to 2. Now, well, this is the same as 2, 1, 1 degrees plus k times 90 degrees. Okay. K times 90, where k is the integer. Okay, so now I've got my general solution is theta equal to 2, 1. 2,15 degrees plus k times 90 degrees. I'm going to use this now to determine all the values of theta between minus 180, okay, between minus 180 there, between minus 180 and 180 degrees. Right? So we are saying theta is equal to 2 comma 1 5 degrees plus k times 9 degrees, where k is an integer. And you want to between minus 180 and 180. So let's substitute k now. Let's start with when k is 0. You put k equal to 0, you get theta equal to 2 comma 1 5 degrees. Right? Then, when k is equal to 1, I'll get theta equal to, if I put 1 there, I'll get 90 plus 2,5, which gives me 92,5 degrees. Then, when k is equal to negative 1, if I put negative 1 there, I'll get minus 90, so it will be 2,15 minus 90, which will give me theta equal to minus 87,85 degrees. Right, I'm not done yet. Then I need to substitute k. When k equal to 2, if I put 2, I'll get 180 plus. Okay, so it becomes theta will be equal to 182,15. This one here is outside the, the interval, so it's not a solution. Right? Let me use uh, another color to indicate that this is not a solution. Right? Then, when k is minus 2, right, I'll get theta equal to, well, I'll get minus 180 plus that, I'm going to get minus 177,85 degrees. Okay? There is no need for me to substitute k equal to, uh, to 3 because I will get values that are outside the interval. So it means here I have got 4 answers. 1, 2, 3, 4. This one here is not an answer. It's not a solution. So k can be any Integers. Integers. So it can be 8. No, you, do, you start from, from, from the smallest. Yes, it can be 8, but in most cases you won't go as far as k equal 8. Okay, k equal 8 is too large. What do you stop? It depends on the question you are given. Also, it's not time like this. Yeah, in most cases, by the time you get to k equal 3, you must have got all your answers. Because, you see, if the interval is too wide, it means you are end up spending too much time trying to find all the what all the answers. Which in an examination situation is not an ideal situation. You waste time doing one question. 
So generally, the question that you get, by the time you get to k equal to 2, you must have found probably all the best the, the solution. Okay? So this is what you were supposed to do.